Hello, my name is Stuart Carler. I'm Chief Research Officer at ABI Research, and welcome to our first ABI Snapshot, where we spotlight critical findings from the latest research from our global analyst team. In this snapshot, we're speaking to research analyst Leo Gergs, who's going to answer some key questions about the impact on Huawei restrictions will have on 5G markets. Welcome, Leo. So let's dive in. What impact will 5G network infrastructure vendor restrictions have on 5G standardization and rollout? Restricting the role of certain infrastructure vendors for uh, 5G deployments could have severe consequences for uh, 5G standardization work and uh, rollout, especially if you look at Huawei and um, other Chinese telco companies that are among the top uh, contributors for, tel uh, for 5G related patent declarations to the third generation partnership projects, 3GPP. Now, stripping away Huawei and ZTE from the opportunity to monetize um, their R&D investment will cause them to reconsider their efforts and ultimately decrease their R&D investments in some form. And as a result, uh, rollout and evolution of 5G will ultimately suffer, not only on a national, but really on, on a global level. Moving forward, when we look at the restrictions on these infrastructure vendors, what impact would that have on global supply chains and, importantly, the semiconductor industry? Restricting the supply chain access for infrastructure vendors that are put on the U.S. American entity list um, can have expensive economic consequences for both um, Huawei and ZTE on the one hand, but also for the U.S. American semiconductor industry on the other hand. Now, if you look at Huawei and ZTE on the one hand, um, they will have to revert to um, alternative sources for chipsets and other uh, technology components. So in other words, they will have to build up a completely new supply chain ecosystem, which will take years to um, mature, really. Now, on the other hand, the U.S. American semiconductor industry, for them, these trading restrictions uh, would result in losing a very valuable export client. And it is therefore no surprise to see that all of the leading American uh, semiconductor companies like um, AMD, Intel, Samsung, or, or Qualcomm, to just name a few here, have all filed for administrative permission to uh, continue to supply Huawei. When we're looking further at these infrastructure vendor restrictions, what impact is that going to have on economic market dynamics, things like price pressure and competition? Is that's another very interesting and very important topic to discuss, because the decision to restrict certain vendors from 5G deployments uh, presents an, a very important intervention into the market that um, has distortive effects on, on key market dynamics. Um, so it would create what economists refer to as imperfect competition. And if you look at uh, economic theory, there are really two important effects of these oligopolistic market uh, conditions. Firstly, uh, the quantity of a given good. So in this case, um, 5G network infrastructure would be lower under um, imperfect competition conditions than it would be in a in a perfectly competitive setting. Um, and secondly, and this is important for the telco industry, um, the price for that good will be higher than under perfect competition arrangements. Now, in other words, uh, the telco industry would face higher costs uh, because existing suppliers uh, would have a much higher bargaining power to set uh, prices. Um, to mitigate the rising infrastructure costs, therefore, uh, telco operators will ultimately look at alternative infrastructure vendors, um, which in turn will drive new initiatives really like um, Open Run. And the recent announcement as of uh, January 2021 really of Deutsche Telekom, Orange, Telefonica and Vodafone to join forces uh, to support Open Run rollout really underlines this development. Last question. In the end, what quantifiable impacts would these restrictions have? Yeah, to summarize and um, highlight the complexity of what is at stake, um, the decision to restrict Huawei and um, ZTE uh, would show its destructive effect on three different levels. 
Firstly, a ban of vendors will delay 5G rollout and standardization work by uh, several years, really. Um, and secondly, the telco operators will be burdened with additional costs of uh, several billion uh, US dollar to replace existing infrastructure from, from their networks. And this is regardless of potentially higher prices as a result of limiting market competition that I've talked about earlier. And thirdly, as uh, the uncertainty about the permitted role of Huawei and ZTE for 5G uh, network deployment will drive attention towards um, the Open Run initiative, it will be a key driver of the 7 billion uh, US dollar revenue opportunity for Open Run that we forecast by uh, 2026. Excellent. Thank you very much, Leo. And thank you much, very much, everyone, for watching our first ever ABI snapshot. For a deeper dive into these subjects, please go to our website and look for the report Impact of Huawei Restrictions on 5G Markets. Alternatively, you can use the link abi.link forward slash an5339. Thank you.